Thanks to everyone who have subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Amuteko, federal government to make position known soon. Following controversies that have greeted the setting up of Western Nigerian Security Network, WNSN, code named Operation Amuteko. The federal government said last night it was analyzing the development and would make its position known soon. Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abu Bakr Malami, in a teaser test to, the, to this day, hinted at the fact that the federal government would, was yet to take a position on the matter. But the Nigerian Bar Association, NBA, advised the South West Governors and other division of Amuteko to publish the Operation Manual of the Security Initiative, a move, it said, would clarify all grey areas about its constitutions. Nevertheless, some senior advocates of Nigeria, SAN, declared their support for the security initiative by the South West Governors, saying they have opposed the constitution of the country. The, leader, the leadership of the indigenous people of Brafia commended the Southwest governor for setting up such an initiative to protect their people, unlike the Southeast counterpart. On its part, the Northern Youth Council of Nigeria, NYCN, faulted the creation of Amuteko in the Southwest, claiming it is not different from the outlaw IPOB and can be described as the military wing of the Odu People's Congress, OPC. Sharing the concerns of the Northern Youth, Headsmen and Cattlemen Rera in the Southwest also cautioned against developing Amuteku as a tool for persecuting the Fulani people in the region, saying, while the initiative is a welcome development, it should not be targeted. They feel it is targeted at the Fulani people in the region of the Southwest. Malami asked his view on the launch of the security initiative stated in the text message to this day. It is about analyzing the scope of the function of Amuteko within the constitutional spirit of exclusive legislative list or otherwise. Ask further if the federal government was going to make it its position known soon on the development and perhaps clarify the gray areas. His response was short and straight to the point. Yes, please. But the president of the MBA, Mr. Paul Usoro San, said it was important to understand the mood of reprimandos of the security outfit to decide whether it was constitutional. Usoro said the constitution constitutionality of the group will be determined by how it works. Are they going to bear arms like the Nigerian police? Are they parallel police? Or are they simply like local vigilantes? What are their powers? Do they have power to arrest? These were the concerns of Soro. He was quick to add that the issue of power to arrest was not a big deal because an individual could arrest an offender and hand him over to the security agencies. According to him, it would be nice to know how they are going to work. What is their mode of random? How are they going to comply and comply with existing law enforcement and work with enforcement agencies? Because they are also they also have to collaborate between them and the security outfit have to co have to co collaborate with the Nigerian police. It is when one knows all these things that one can talk about whether they are they are officially constituted. Usoro said if the new security initiative was to target armed robbers, kidnappers and offenders, the issue of whether they will be allowed to carry arms will be addressed. 
currently these people who are permitted to carry arms are the regular security out outfits or officers that we know otherwise they will require a license to carry arms how are they going to tackle robbery kidnapping and arm robbery these are the issues one needs to look at Usoro also said there should be a document spelling out the powers of the security outfit and such document should contain the framework under which the organization will work he said it it is when you have such a framework and not by words of mouth that you will know what their powers are nothing like that or else the organization does not exist framework should be published to enable the public determine whether their power is constitution constituted or a provision of the constitution very importantly one must state here that the insecurity in the land is creating the need for the establishment of the group like this i think it puts pressure on the federal government to scale up its effort, effort to ensure security across the country, Us Usoro said. A former senior advocate of Nigeria, Malami Yusuf Ali, said there was nothing wrong with the decision of the Southwest governor to establish Amutoke because, according to him, what the constitution forbids is establishment of a private army. All said, Ali said regarding the security outfit, there was there are not setting up a police force or an army. They are not setting up either the police or any of the armed forces, navy or air force. What the constitution forbid is a private army. It is a matter of addressing the kind of security challenge challenge the country faces. From what I have read about the Amutoke, it is going to be constituted by security men uniformed security men, both police and soldiers, otherwise. Besides, our society has come to terms with the establishment of vigilante group. They can be found in every new cranny of Nigeria. Nobody has ever said that vigilante is a replicant of either the police or the military. Another son also came down with his own criticism of Amuteke and accuses them of playing the ostrich. Well, this is what is going on now. The northern uh, youths are kicking against Amuteke, saying that it is targeted at them, at the Fulanis, uh, and uh, the northern people in the region of the southwest. IPOB have welcomed this, saying it is a very good welcome address. It is very important. But the north are really kicking against it, saying that the government should not allow Amutoke to operate or to stand. They are saying Amutoke is come to uh, is targeted at the full and its cattle rearers and northerners. Nigerians, is this true? Because I believe that this is like a vigilante to safeguard the life and property of people in the southwest. IPOB has welcomed this initiative and has even commended that um, the, the East should also have something like this, a form of the, the vigilante to protect life and property of the people because the government is not doing anything per se and um, the senators that we asked some agree some says the mode of propaganda should be published they should know their power what are the extent that they can go can they arrest people can they carry arms all this and this and this but my but my point here is why is it why is the north why is the north kicking against it that it is targeted ag against them the fulanis and the cattle rearers so are they offenders? Are this set of people offenders? Are there no other nationals, other um, people in the southeast, in the in other parts of Nigeria living in the south in the southwest? So why should they feel that Amutoke is directed at them? I want to know that question, Nigerians. I want to know what your thoughts are. Please leave me leave me a comment respectfully in the comment section. Let's look at this together. At App Online Media, we speak against bad governance and we commend good ones and encourage them to do more. If you think Amutoke is, is a welcome initiative, please let's speak up. By speaking up is by you subscribing, liking and sharing this message so that it can travel far and we, are, we can all lend our voice. And guess what? The, the, the federal government were here. That's how they got to know about Showere. If Nigerians has kept quiet, the media was not publicizing it. It did not travel, what, travel wide to the Western world. Probably it would have still, uh, Showere would have still been 
in detention. But because this began to travel, Nigerian government was cautioned. Nobody said they are challenging the Air Force, the, uh, the Navy, the, uh, the Army or the police. It's just a vigilante group to protect life and property. I want to hear what your thoughts are. Please uh, leave a comment. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks to everyone out there who is listening. Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. Thanks to those who have not subscribed. I really appreciate you. Have a lovely day and I appreciate you. God bless. Bye.